Welcome, saluete. Here we're picking up in Fabulae Faculis at um, the story of Heracles 36, Laomedon and the Sea Monster. This is the famous monster of Troy. Laomedon, quidam, illo tempore regnum Troiae obtenebat. A certain Laomedon at that time held the kingship of Troy. So this Laomedon here is an ancestor of, um, of Aeneas, and in the Aeneid there are a lot of references to Laomedon and lying Laomedon, um, and this is one of the key stories for that. Laomedon in mythology, he never lives up to his word. He um, did not pay Apollo and Neptune after they... Um, built the walls of Troy for him. That was part of their punishment for rebelling against Zeus during a, a revolt. Um, they sided with Hera against Zeus, and so he made them serve a mortal king, Laomedon, and build the walls of Troy. So when they, uh, he didn't pay up, uh, Neptune, or Poseidon to use his Greek name, sent a sea monster. And here's where we pick up in the story. Ad hunc Neptunus et Apollo anno superiore venerant. To this guy, meaning Laomedon, Neptune and Apollo had come anno superiore in the earlier or previous year. Et cum Troia nondum moenia haberet. And since Troy had, didn't yet have walls, ad hoc opus auxilium obtulerant. They had offered help for this work or to this work offered help for this work is probably better in English um, key things here so haberet imperfect subjunctive in that cum clause obtulerant uh, is a pluperfect indicative like the wainerant up above and let's see um, there's no reference to them doing this as punishment here but you see that elsewhere in the literature about this myth Posquam tamen horum auxilio muinia confecta sunt. Nevertheless, after the walls were completed with or by their help, horum auxilio, nulebat laumadon primium quod pro posuerat persolvere. Laumadon did not want to pay. Per solvere is a compound of solvere, that normal verb for to pay. And of course, in its basic sense, it means a loosen or something, but with any financial transaction, it typically means pay. The pair prefix in mean indicates basically pay fully. He didn't want to fully pay the premium, the reward that he had offered. The quod pro posuerat, uh, pro, pro posuerat is another pluperfect indicative and it's literally which he had proposed, right, or had offered. Neptunus igitur et Apollo ob hanc causam irati monstrum quodam miserunt specie horripoli quod quotidie em mari veniebat et homines pecudesque orabat. Therefore, Neptune and Apollo angered or angry irati on account of this reason ob hanc causam namely because he didn't pay them right as he agreed sent a certain monster monstrum quodam and here we get an ablative of description specie horribly of a horrible appearance or with a horrible appearance quod quotidie which daily a mari when he abot was coming from the sea or used to come from the sea daily, we could say, et homines pecudesque waraba, and devoured humans and livestock. Trojani autem, the Trojans, however, timore perteriti, frightened with fear, or <laughs> terrified um, with dread, something like that, right? It's a little bit of a pleonasm, more words than we need, in urbe continebantur, were contained or kept in the city. They didn't want to go outside because they were afraid of being eaten by the sea monster. Et pecora omnia, 
ex agris intramuros compulerant, and they had driven compulerant, another pluperfect, all of their livestock, pecora omnia, from the fields inside of the walls, intramuros. Laomedon his rebus commotus, Laomedon um, moved or very upset by these things, oraculum consuluit, consulted an oracle, ac deus ei praecipit, and the god uh, ordered him, or instructed him, ut filiam hesionen monstro objicaret, that he should uh, offer his daughter Hesione to the monster. Okay, so that concludes section 36, and in another lesson we'll pick up with 37 and see what happens to Hesione. But you can imagine, since we're telling the story of Hercules, that he's involved somehow.